I got my art training from Mad Magazine. Um, I remember having a subscription when I was in junior high. That was probably around late 70s, early 80s. My favorite artist was Mort Drucker. Uh, when I was a kid, I wrote a letter to him and he actually replied back. I have no idea where that's at. I was a kid. But I got most of my art training from that magazine because they had the best artists. Uh, later on, I went to university to art school, which was um, a complete waste of time. Other than the fact that it was good to network and meet people and I, I played in a pretty cool band. But as far as art goes, um, I have a long history with cartooning. Um, in high school, I was an award-winning cartoonist. I had won first in the state in editorial cartooning in Nebraska. Um, my style, uh, how do I describe it? What I'm drawing here is one of my robots. Um, a couple years ago, I was doodling at work and I came up with this, this robot design that I can kind of scale to tall, fat, skinny. But I start off with uh, a pencil, pencil sketch, then I go on the outlines like I'm doing here and thicken things up a bit. Um, the body shape is, you know, just kind of basic head, torso, legs. I play connect the dots with the shoulders, elbows, wrists, and knees, and the feet. Um, once I get the general design down, it's just a matter of going around outlining everything. Um, I do a lot of, I don't know how to, ex how to explain it. Um, I, I learned a lot of my pen pencil work from Mort Drucker and the way he does his uh, cross hatching and I use a lot of that. I'm, I'm really out of practice here because I used to do this an awful lot when I was younger but uh, now that I want to be a YouTuber I'm trying to go back and remember how I do all this stuff so I can um, make more videos. Uh, my prior videos on this page uh, Keith Trim Dragon Art are lo long uh, acrylic paintings take hours and days to do. I figured I could whip these things out fairly quickly since I kind of know what I'm doing um, back in art school, I had uh, these gray marker pens. Um, I'm really familiar with doing caricatures. I used to do caricatures for post-prom parties. So uh, right now I'm kind of doing a, a generic caricature face, you know, um, kind of just some, kind of a cartoony with cartoony eyes, cartoony nose. I've done an awful lot of cartoony in my life. So this is kind of like second nature to me. Um, just basically throwing in some eyes and some eyebrows and some lips. Um, the composition for this is just whatever. Um, I, it's my first video in this series. I just wanted to throw some things out and see what I could do. So I threw up my robot. Now I'm doing my cartoon guy head. Um, I've done thousands of these, so it's just second nature. Put his ear in there. Put his other ear in there. Uh, I got a goofy expression on his face, which is what you do when you're making cartoons. Then here I am throwing in the hair. Uh, there's a zillion hairstyles you can do for these guys. This is a kind of a generic uh, guy dude hair, haircut. Um, here I'm thickening up the outside lines again like Mort does. He does a lot of stuff in, in pen and ink and later on in this cartoon I, I ink my stuff in. So uh, the, the pencil sketch is just to get me where I'm going and uh, for this drawing I kind of marked my borders out and I'm kind of going over my borders but I think I caught most of it inside. So i um, putting in some hair, thickening up my lines a little bit more, adding some of my little doodad lines. Um, those little doodad lines m mean a lot in my drawings and if I, if I continue to do these, which I hope to do, I want to do a whole series of them, I'm going to get more into my old caricatures and try, kind of relearn what I used to do. Um, I really haven't done these in a long, long time. I'm kind of just winging it. Um, so I'm going to throw a little hand in here, some quick easy fingers. I guess he's, he's waving at you. He's saying, hi, hi, look at me. I'm being drawn by me. Uh, that guy kind of looks like me, I guess. So I'm adding a little more hair. Got the hand in there. And what am I going to do here? I'm going to go back to my robot guy. Mm, no, I, I think I switched out pencils. And now I am going to do my cowboy. Um, I did a, this sketch of a cowboy for a promotion in my hometown probably 10 years ago for a poster. And this is the same design I did then. It was kind of a snarly, uh, bad guy cowboy design. You can kind of tell from the way his eyeball looks there. Uh, he's kind of frowning. I think I gave him one tooth. There it is right there. Um, bring down his 
His nose gave him an evil eyebrow, like Spock from Star Trek. He has one eye squinty. There you go. And give him a little cheekbone. Uh, bring the nose in a little bit more. There you go. Now the chins are always tough. You don't want to make it too big. The jawline, you got to make it sharp, just like that. Then let's see what we got. Uh, I'm going to throw an ear in here. Oh, here's the hat. Now the hat, most of the hat's off the picture, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, you can catch most of it here. Well, not most of it. You can catch half of it here. Uh, I'm just kind of sketching in the hat. There's the top you can't see. Guaranteed it's there. Um, and I think now I kind of throw in a mustache. Yeah, there it is. And a little bit of a, a Van Dyke on the edge of his chin so he looks more evil. And what am I doing here? I gotta thicken up, give him some eyeliner here. There you go. Uh, my ears all look the same. I've been drawing ears for eight years. Ears for years, so I kind of had those down too. Um, I think I probably could make a hundred of these videos easily, just going back to my old stuff and looking at my old drawings. Um, I think people like watching people draw. I hope they do. This is kind of my Bob Ross. Um, if, if you like this, go back and look at my paintings because my, my paintings always start off as a drawing that I project onto my canvas and then I have a whole process for painting. And if you like monsters and aliens, you're going to dig that stuff. Uh, the stuff I'm doing here is, is more cartoony, even though some of my paintings are kind of cartoony too. Um, this all reflects me to death. I mean, I, th these, these drawings are me. And what I, what I mean by that, it reflects the, my, the time I was in junior high and high school. Um, for some reason, uh, the art of that day imprinted in my brain, and I don't even have to really think about it anymore. I just have to just go to that place in my brain and draw it out. Um, I did actually print out some cartoony stuff today off my printer at work, just so I can get some references to what's what's what, get some expressions, kind of... I printed out some Mark Drucker stuff to get his style back in my head. Um, and it's, it's kind of funny watching this video because um, it all comes back to me. All Even the way I shade my my pencil, my pen work, it's it's just, it's been this way for years and years and years going back to the, the 80s. I don't, I don't want to tell you how old I am, but um, uh, I was just watching Heavy Metal, the cartoon on TV before I, I put this on just to get some more reference. And that thing came out when I was in high school. <laughs> and I watched Lord of the Rings, the cartoon, because some of the background art in that is just incredible. And I was trying to steal some ideas, you know, maybe get some, like right here, I'm doing some, looks like an octopus's leg. Uh, I don't know why there's an octopus's leg on this guy, but I wanted to fill the space for composition. Uh, over here, I'm kind of putting a tree. Uh, I guess he needs to be out by a tree, but realistically, it's just to fill in the composition. And here I am thickening up my lines again, thicken, 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 because that's my style. So I got a cowboy, I got a robot, and I got a guy with a, um, an octopus around his neck. Oh, what are you coming up here? Now, I do have some marker pens that are going to come up. And when I was in art school way, way back, and I was out of high school, I had this really kind of cool um, marker pen set. It was um, grays. And they're like, like uh, zero through 100%. There they are right there. So I bought myself a new set. I haven't used these. Actually, this is the first time I've used these. I, I just opened the package. I grabbed a number four. This may have been a touch too dark. I was thinking as I was using it. But I just said, well, I'm, I'm, I'm started with it. I'm just going to go for it. So here I am again, outlining stuff. Putting in my shadows. Outlining my, the, the thicker. To me, the outside edges of most things need to be thicker than the inside. Kind of to contain what's going on. Uh, just a style thing I picked up over the years. Here I am thickening up my robot's arms. Kind of looks pretty buff, don't he, with those big old arms. Give him his belly a little thicker, a little thicker. Uh, you got to put uh, some emphasis on... I, mean, I, I do. As a cartoonist, line weight means everything. And if you're a cartoonist, you're going to learn that too. Line weight, if you look at the Marvel comics or DC comics, you're going to see how the artists use line weight. And I picked up on that a long, long time ago. Um, things on edges, things that bend, need to be more emphasized. And you, you'll pick that up as you go along. And right, right now, I'm putting some shadows under the knees and under the around the hips, you know. Um, putting the belt in. 
Uh, I think I'm thickening his jaw up a tad. Um, what am I also doing here? Oh, this is the tricky part. Uh, this marker pen is new. I didn't know what I was doing, but I don't. It's not gonna look bad. It's just um, maybe I should have practiced before I did this. But now YouTube videos are pretty cheap. <laughs> it just doesn't take much. It don't cost anything to make. The hardest part of this was getting my lighting all set up and getting the camera set up so I could shoot this. Um, and now I'm narrating it, and I think it sounds okay. I hope. Let's see what I'm doing here. I'm putting the cowboy hat in. I'm thickening up that line. I think I thickened up his his eye, so it looks like his eyeshadow, and that, that's kind of a cool look. Put his mustache in there a little better. Now remember, this is a number four, so it's not quite. I mean, it's it's dark, but not too dark. I mean, I think that the ten is is like black, and the one is like barely even anything. So I use the four, thicken up my lines. Um, it's really interesting to watch the process of this. Um, even watching myself, it's just. Like, how do I do that? What, what am I thinking as I'm doing this? Because I know the camera's running, and and uh, I don't want to, like, take forever to do this. Same time, I haven't used these marker pens ever, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. But so far, it looks okay. And it kind of comes together a little bit better once I get the other marker pens in. So here I go. I thicken the nose up a bit. Go in here, thicken the ear up a bit. Uh, add some darks. I actually had some ink uh, on the table with me. I thought about going in and doing some inking, but for a first time video, I don't want to get too over the top. So what am I doing here? I'm putting in, oh, I darkened his pupil up. So now he's really looking at you. He's an evil, evil cowboy. Now I think I'm switching marker pens out right here. And let's see, I should come back with a number two, which is really kind of light. I was just going to use that. Yeah, that's my number two, I think. Just to give some edge shadow just enough to say it has some shadow. And I do think that this works well. I do like the number two. Um, can I fill in some spots here? Um, always fill in on creases to make them look round. Uh, kind of wish the camera wasn't right above my hand so you can see what I'm doing here. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I don't got a million bucks. Um, now if you guys share this video, if you made it this far, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe because I want to be a YouTuber like everybody else out there. I do painting, I do cartooning, I even have music and stuff. I won't get into that right now because you're here because you want to see how I do this artwork stuff. So here I am. I'm doing shading on the arms, on the body, give it kind of a 3D look to it for my robot. I should give my robot a name. I, I don't. I do skinny robots, tall robots, I do fat robots, but the, the faces always kind of all look alike. But they're kind of fun to draw. I actually have a video on this YouTube channel called 13 Robots. If you want to go back and look for it, where I uh, paint, I, I don't paint, I, I draw 13 robots. And they're all different shapes and sizes. And they're just a fun thing to do. Um, if you're bored at work, you know, you can get at your paper and your pencil and your marker pen. And you can draw some robots as well. Um, I should probably copyright them since uh, I invented those style of robots. I'm just joking. So here I am filling in some stuff with the lighter number two marker pen and so far you know for a first time effort I'm not unhappy with this I think it looks okay it shows three things it shows, shows my caricature style it shows my cartoony robot and then it shows my uh, my, my evil cowboy um, the evil cowboy is okay I give him uh, three and a half stars out of five um, the robot I like quite a bit Oh, look at this. Now I've switched pens again. Now I have the Sharpie. Why do I have a Sharpie? Because I have to darken up things, make them slightly stand out. Uh, right here, I'm darkening up the edges, uh, getting, putting the details in uh, around the nose of the cowboy. I think I put the mustache in there, a little darker. Um, what am I doing here? I put, oh, I darken up the pupil a little bit, give him a little more at, of the mascara looking uh, evil eye. Um, I going in and fixing, the, I think it's a bandera or some sort of handkerchief on his neck. The, you know, all cowboys had them. Uh, add some more shadow under the neck so it stands out. Then I go around my uh, robot and I to really thicken it up and darken it down. Do the edges on that. Um, this guy looks like that Michelin uh, tire guy, doesn't he? Here, now I can see the fingers. Um, go on the other side. Uh, kind of reinforce the belt a little bit. 
Why my robot has a belt, I'm not sure, but when I was originally designed it, I thought it looked good. I still do. Uh, you know, I'm just kind of thicken his head up a bit here. And give him a good little other shoulder going on. And thicken up his legs again. Now, I need to darken up under his belly because that's where the shadow is. And then we go down in tops of his feet, bottoms of his feet. Thicken those way up because he has to stand on those suckers. And put in his fingers a little bit, a little bit better so you can actually can make them out. Okay, and kind of fix his belt buckle. You know what? I think that that caricature there looks like um, Richie Cunningham. Or uh, if you watch the Mayberry show, it looks like the Andy Taylor's kid. I'm not sure what his name is. He kind of looks like that. Um, it's probably the haircut. Um, th I think this video does a good job of showing some of my techniques, but I think as I go along, I'll get a little more tight. This is a little bit sloppy, but it's, it's, it's got it down halfway decent. I give the whole thing so far about like three out of five stars. Mm -hmm. And we're getting closer to the end. I hope you're still with me. If you are, I'd like for you to like and subscribe and because I want you to see how, as I progress because I, I intend to... You know, this one here was just basically just a bunch of different ideas I just threw together. But hopefully, you know, if you guys have some ideas what you think I should draw or do, I could work on those. Or um, at least, what are we doing here? Doing the neck, thickening that up. But I want you guys to like and subscribe so I can build this uh, channel up so I can get millions of views. And then I can quit my day job and become a full-time um, cartoony artist. Uh, when I did post proms, I, it wasn't the best money in the world, but it was kind of fun. Only you had to stay up till like three in the four in the morning, and I was really super tired. You know, I'd have like 50, 60 kids lined up at my table at a time. You know, and that's kind of nerve wracking because these kids sit down, they want you to make sure you don't do a lousy job. So when I was doing it those days, this it was easy because I was had so much practice. I'm just really out of practice. But for being out of practice, uh, I think this is not too terribly bad. Um, kind of finishing up my darks and my thickening. And I hope this looks really good on YouTube TV because that's where I'm going to look at it when I, once I get it done. Um, not too bad. I need to quit grading myself. I give myself a, a B plus. B plus. I'm working on my composition here. i got to thicken that side up. Um, Overall, I'm happy with it. Actually, I watching this um, as I'm narrating it, I'm kind of looking forward to doing my second one. I just need to come up with a plan. Um, I'll probably do more robots because those are super easy. And come up with some sort of another caricature face or two. But um, I think I think we're getting close to the end here. But don't don't hang up yet because you guys see the finished product. Don't hang up yet. Because I, I need you guys to be my YouTube uh, street gang or street club. Um, in the band business, that's the people who help the band get big. Now I need you to help. You. I need you guys to help me get my art big. Because uh, I spent a lot of years doing this, and I, you know, think I have something to sh something to share, something worthwhile. That's my that's my name, Keith Trim, Keith Trim Dragon Art, and I hope you like the video.